There are three different ways that you can add cascading style sheets or CSS to your web page or web pages inline, internal, and external. This video will demonstrate how to add internal CSS to your web page. Now, an internal style sheet is best used when a single web page has a unique style. An inline CSS should only be used when only a few HTML elements on a page require styling. And an external style sheet is best used when several different web pages require styling. Now you define internal styles in the head section of your HTML page by using the style tag. Here, let me open up my editor and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And in this demonstration, I'm going to be using Komodo as my editor. It's just a nice little text editor. You can do the same thing with Composer or Notepad or any text editor for that matter. Come on up here to File, New. I'm going to use a template for HTML5. And here we are, basic, basic HTML5 page. Now I've got some code over here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste over this. Save some typing time. And this is basically it. We've got our opening and closing HTML tag, opening and closing body tag, and in the head section, that's the opening and closing head tag, we also have the opening and closing title tag. But what I want to show you here is the style tag. That's the opening and closing style tag. These are only used whenever we're working with internal style sheets. So in between the opening and closing style tags, this is where we have our CSS styling, referencing whatever content we would have in the body section for those particular selectors. In this case, for the body, we're going to be using a gray background. For all H1 tags, it's going to be a color blue, and the font size is going to be 2.5 EM, or roughly 40 pixels, font family and the H2 is going to be green, and so on and so on. And you can have multiple declarations per selector. And by the way, the de a declaration consists of the property and the value of that property. So, for example, in the H1, we've got multiple declarations. We've got the property and value, property and value, property and value. And you can also have multiple selectors for a particular declaration as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in our preview. Go ahead and save this. That'll work for now. Come on up here in preview and click on preview. And here we are. Gray background, which I will probably never do, but just for demonstration purposes, it works. And to demonstrate how you can make a quick change here, you just go from gray to white, click on save, and there you go. That's simple. And that's going to do it for this video on internal CSS. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.